Well, welcome to episode 17, Shackles for Life. Today we're making uh, cheddar cheese bagel seasoning um, shackles. And we're going to use the ultra-thin cheese today for the chopped cheddar cheese. And uh, it's kind of an older cheese I had in there and I wanted to start using it up before I wind up throwing it out. So what you're going to do is I got two little mini dashes going on the uh, cutting board for a little bit of a background. And then once they heat up, we're going to cut the... Uh, pieces over here. These come with parchment paper separated, so it makes it easy for you. The first set, I ended up using a, a straight square cheese, uh, and then I ended up cutting two of them around for the next set. And they came out really good. Uh, didn't have any problems with that. I ended up taking two eggs, and I put a little bit of simple seasoning, salt, pepper, and then I used the everything all season bagel seasoning. And these came out really great. They were unbelievably tasty. And then what you can do with these, if you wanted to, you can take... Um, these and cut them up in little chunks and use it for like uh, soup uh, croutons, I guess that's how you put it, or uh, you know, like salads and stuff like that. And these are two eggs I'm just showing, and I ended up finding a little shell in here. I took that out after I realized it was in there after I whisked it, and then I was just mixing it all up with my whisk, and uh, pretty much that simple. And you know, then the two, when the two lights go out on the uh, mini dash, you just pour in the uh, the egg mixture right over there without making too much of a mess. And probably next time I'll have these on a paper plate or a nap in the case I do make a mess. But, uh, you know, these were ready. You know, they could, you know, we get to your mini dash, it's gonna be hot, then we lift it up. And, and the only problem I had, if there was any problem at all, was just like, like kind of like taking it off of the uh, mini dash with the fork. And then you can see my cheese is kind of like a little bit gone a little bit, but it, it, they were still okay to eat, you know, and uh, I ended up, uh, then I get these things melted down really good. Now I'm just pouring the uh, egg mixture over the top of the uh, the mold without making too much of a mess. And then I put another piece of cheese right over the top. That's why you like using a provolone cheese that's already pre-cut round. And I just put it, because it's it fits perfect on the mini dash. But you can use the square cheese, or you can use the shredded cheese, you can use mozzarella cheese, but Parmesan cheese, Kobe Jack cheese, it all works, you know, and the, uh, the whole, and if you're gonna use the uh, the regular sliced cheese that you just recommended that uh, I would recommend cutting it up a little bit and making it like it's shredded, you know, cause less, less time that you, uh, you know, the, to cook this, uh, your chapel. So let's continue on. So as you can see, our first two uh, shoppers are done. I just popped them off the mini dash. You know, I'm gonna put the ultra thin cheese on the ones I cut round and on. You can see how much better they fit on there. And then to clean up my mini dash, what I did, I took a couple of damp pieces of paper towel and just laid them right inside the mold and they uh, closed the lid and put everything away. And I cleaned up the uh, cutting board because they had a little bit of mess underneath one of them. But it wasn't too bad. It wasn't as bad as the one I had yesterday. And again, these came out really great. Hope you really enjoyed the video, and again, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, I just forgot there. These are the second two that I uh, did with the rounded cheese, and you can see how much better they looked over there, and they look a little more appetizing, but they, they were really, really good with the bagel seasoning, and you know, you can put whatever you want for seasoning in it. That, you know, use your judgment and use your own imagination and amounts that you want. What you do, you and work works whatever works for you. I ended up making meatloaf today, for, and then I use these for a meatloaf sandwich. And uh, you know, these are good just to snack on. And again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy your day.